Something is definitely watching you the whole time that you're on this backrooms level. Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm going to be explaining backrooms level 66, or exhibit. This level makes me paranoid, and it's kind of unnerving, which are two great things in the backrooms, actually. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? So Backrooms Level 66 is classified as a class undetermined difficulty because it's just too weird to give a regular classification. It has environmental things that change with it and some unknown and undocumented entities perhaps. It's a mess, but we're getting into it right now. The level itself resembles a huge walkthrough aquarium. It's probably infinite since no border has been found yet, and this whole thing is just weird, but we don't know for sure. The level is normally dark and has a hot and humid feel to it, kind of like how a summer day in the forest would feel. The floor of the level is made out of some kind of rubber, and there are fake rocks set up along the path, and fake trees too, to give it kind of a tropical ocean vibe which isn't working very well because it just looks unnerving and creepy to me. The ambience of the level is actually kind of relaxing though because you'll just hear a soft bubbling and dripping sound in the distance all the time when you're here. The tunnels on this level are made out of some kind of tempered glass that holds back all the water in the aquariums. This water is the only light source on the level since the actual tunnels don't have light bulbs or lamps, it's just got whatever light shines through the water. We have no idea where the light comes from, it's just there. Now the water itself inside of the aquariums is devoid of any life, kind of. But they all have some sort of marine themed decorations inside. And the water itself overwhelmingly smells like salt which makes the entire level smell like a hot, wet, salty tunnel. Also, don't ever drink or touch the salt water inside of the aquariums because it's actually so salty that it can irritate your skin just by touching it. As I said earlier, the level can change its own layout, and this is one of the main reasons that you could lose your mind here. Like one time somebody supposedly ran into a sudden ending in a tunnel, and then they turned around to go back, only to realize the path where they came from was completely different looking. So it's safe to say that there's literally no way to map out a safe route through the level. On top of this, this level is pretty claustrophobic, and since there's literally nothing except tunnels, combined with a hot, steamy environment and hardly any light, and you've got a recipe for disaster for getting lost and losing your marbles. So several wanderers have reported feeling watched while they're walking through the tunnels. They say this feeling happens throughout all of the level and that it's coming from somewhere behind the glass in the water. Almost like there's a creature of some kind lurking in it, staring at you. On top of this feeling of being watched, it's also common for people to hear footsteps behind them or even beside them, like running up really fast, almost like something's just running right at you. But when they turn around, nothing's there. Also, some people have said they've seen something in the corner of their eye in the aquarium. They whip their head over to look and there's just sand being kicked up and they can't see anything else, just the sand floating in the water. Now, I'm gonna have nightmares. Cool. Some think that the footsteps, the weird shadows, and all that stuff are just hallucinations that you make up while being stuck here. But the fact that so many people have reported seeing these type of things makes it seem more real to me at least. The level is definitely not fun to be stuck on for long due to the hotness and the claustrophobia and the darkness and the weird stuff in the tanks and the footsteps. It's just recommended to try to look for an exit as fast as you can so you don't make your mental health worse by staying here. Now if you're able to look past all the creepy stuff like the footsteps and whatnot not, then it could actually be a pretty relaxing level to stay in. No one's been harmed by an entity yet, they just think they've heard stuff. So technically you could just lay down in these tunnels and look up at the calming water and hear the relaxing dripping of the water and bubbling and just take a nap. You know, you could just relax here. But if you do let yourself go mentally crazy, then it would be awful to stay here. There are no bases or outposts here because it's really just not feasible to put one here since it's so small. I mean, you could if you wanted to. Like I just said, you could stay here and sleep, but yeah. And to enter the level, you can no clip through a damp, 
patch of dirt or sand or something, or you can noclip through a puddle to be sent here, but none of those are 100% successful, we just kind of think they work. To exit the level, you have to walk around these tunnels until you find an emergency exit door, and you better hope it's unlocked, because some of them are locked or chained shut, but yeah, just find one as soon as you can, and it should be fine. Just look out for the tunnels changing their layout, because that might make it harder to find an exit. So here's a little example of what the ambience of the level would sound like if you were interested to hear. I'm gonna start doing these like ambience, kind of just like videos of what the level would be like. So this is the first one and I hope you enjoy it. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. This level was honestly pretty amazing. I really enjoyed covering it. It's just one of my favorite things about the back rooms, like the water levels. I love water and it's so relaxing to me that this level exists, even though it's kind of scary, but I don't really care. It's relaxing enough, let's be real. Check out the full article in the description below if you want to see more of the details. Level 66 is definitely in my top 10 levels now, for sure. Anyways, thank you so much for your support. I love and appreciate all of you. Again, I say that every video, but I really do mean it every video. Thank you so much for all you do. Uh, the channel's growth is absurdly huge. I, I cannot fathom the rate the channel's growing. I'm so grateful for you all. I'm recording this on January 18th, and we're at 690k subs. So there's no telling where we'll be when this video comes out. I, I just cannot believe the, the rate we're growing at. Thank you all so much. I love and appreciate you so much. I have so many videos planned. I cannot wait for you all to see them. Drop below in the comments what levels you want me to go over, and just anything you want to see, and suggestions, and whatever. I love reading each and every one of your comments, so it's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, without any more blabbering, I will see you all in the next video. Peace and love.